came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, I praise the Lord. Anyway guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, I've been busy. Okie dokie. Yeah, with work. Anyway, so what we're going to do in this video is, 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 the praise the Lord, the buildings that bounce up in the background on Skepta's verse. I'm going to show you how to do that in After Effects and how simple it can be. Um, and yeah, it's a really powerful effect if you know how to use it. And we're going to be using the puppet tool. Um, and that should easily achieve what you see in this video today. So let's get on to it. Here we go. Oh, Yo, so let's get into it. So what this is the this is the effect that we're going to be doing. So if you look at the building now, you'll see it. They bounce in a bit here. Yeah? Got some bounce. It looks quite nice. Um, now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you this the easiest way because what they've got in this video, it's to do the, the, the way they've done it. There's a camera movement and stuff, so you would need to do like a lot of tracking um, and some other bits just to make it look real because this is obviously a moving camera, and if the way I'm doing it is, it's going to it's going to require you to use a tripod or do it with an image um, because when I was make when I was doing this one, I realised that even though I was being pretty still when you mask over your ca your tower block or your building or whatever it um with the movement you kind of lose it a little bit so i'm going to show you the easier way and then i'll let you figure out how to do the tra tracking etc through you can look at my other tutorials on how to track and you'll be able to figure it out so let's get into it then um if we create a new composition um we'll just call this Building bounce, and then we'll put our tower block in there. Uh, well, I didn't realise it was such low res, but let's just scale it up, and then we'll bring that down. Right, so we have our buildings in, and now what we want to do is duplicate the layer. So Command D or Control D. <laughs> And then what we want to do now is mask out our building that we want to make bounce. So I want to use this nice tall one here. So I'm going to mask that out. Now once you've got that masked out, you know I'm doing it quite rough, but you want to obviously take your time and make sure you go over it nicely. Um, you can add a feather to that just to soften the edges, like five pixels or something. Um, and then what I'm going to do is make it a tad bigger in terms of scale just so that the building behind isn't so large actually if it, we uh, make sure we click on that and then we click if we double alt control click on the pan behind it or center your um, it will center your the anchor point, it will centre the anchor point and then when we scale up it will, center, it will scale from the centre so yeah if I put it about that big there's plenty of breathing room for it now, I might not, I may even be able to take that feather off now actually so if I put that to zero yeah it looks fine um, and now this is really simple, this is, this is, this is how easy it can be uh, click on your layer and then go up to here and what you want to click is the puppet position pin tool click that and then you want to make your points so you obviously want one at the top and then one at the bottom and then you also want to put some on the sides to create a little bit of a like bulge when the building goes up and down so it doesn't just look like it's stretching inwards um, and then if I just pull this down a bit and now if I move if I'm correct it should yeah it should be keyframe so if I go forward now in time and then pull the building down let's just pull it down to like just before that that cuts off actually should be fine and then pull these out a little bit and then if we go copy these keyframes and then go forward in time paste them let's just make this a little bit more there you should see how you got this building bounce now and then literally all you need to do is repeat the process just keep paste copy and pasting and you've got this building bounce and it's literally so simple using the puppet tool um, 
Now, obviously, if you wanted to do this on a moving image, so like, let's just say you was doing it like the Skepta video and you was moving about, you'd want to track the background so that this layer doesn't just stay stationary, it follows the background. Um, so you'd use the tracker here, and then you'd track a point in here, and then you'd create a null object. Um, and then, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know how to track. And then obviously you parent this to the null, which then should follow the screen, and when it moves across it should follow the screen and it should look normal. Um, but yeah, that's how simple the effect is, and it's quite a nice playful effect. You can use this in many things. Um, I figured this out when I was doing a live project in work. I was using the puppet tool and I realised how powerful it was and I was like, Christ, that's how you can do the praise the Lord um, building bounce. So yeah, that's the effect guys. It's super simple and it can create some really good powerful effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up, comment, whatever, share with your friends. Um, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Chicka chicka choo!